Hello, it's Luke Fitzgerald from the Green Mountain Gears FTC Team 9721, and I'm going to be showing you how to assemble 4-inch mechanism wheels. So, let's get into it. So the first step is we're going to need to take one of these pieces. For the, for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to call it part number one, okay? Then we're going to take one of these little gray cones, and it's going to be called part number two. We're going to place it on part number one like that, and now we're going to have this nice little connection. To make sure the connection's secure, we're going to take one of these little spacers, washers, whatever you want to call them, and one of the smaller screws, and we're just going to screw it in. So using a Phillips head screwdriver here, I'm just going to screw it in. Um, it doesn't take a lot of time, but just make sure you don't rush. 20 seconds later. So this is what it should look like when you're done. You One of the most important things, though, is you want to make sure that the part number two is what we were calling it is free spinning, okay? Because that's what it's gonna enable it to glide like one of the Omni wheels. So just just make sure that it's free spinning. You don't want it loose, you don't want it tight, but you just want it free spinning. And now we're gonna take another one of these, what we call part twos. We're gonna take another little washer, spacer, whatever you wanna call it. And then we're gonna take another one of the little screws and we're gonna do exactly what we just did a few seconds ago. So just screw it in guys, don't rush. Just take your time, put ample pressure and um, yeah. 15 seconds later. So after you have attached two of the part twos to one of the part ones, it should look like this. They should both be able to spin freely. But um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make five more of these guys. So hang in there. Um, again, just don't rush and it should go fine. Three minutes later. So here we go. We have all six of these little sub assemblies. If you've done it correctly, you should have six. But um, now that they're all functioning and, and uh, free spinning and, and everything's good, we're gonna move on to the next step. So we're gonna take one of these little black plates here. We're gonna make sure that it's oriented the same way mine is. And now you're just gonna start placing these little sub assemblies on. Now make sure that they're all going the same direction because if they're not, it won't work. You'll be able to tell, it just won't fit on. So just make sure that they're all going the same direction. This is a little tricky though, so take your time. Again, don't rush. But um, now that you have this, this part's really tricky. You've got to kind of balance it on your finger as you attach the top piece. Now here's something that you got to be really careful of. Look look at it. At um, do you see how kind of there's like a crack there, a crevice, a really big one? That's not what you want. That's not it if it's secured. So you're just going to want to apply some pressure around the edges of the little black plate. And if you do it properly, you should have these, it, it shouldn't be a crack. So yeah, you can see some light there, but that's what it's supposed to look like. So try to get yours like that, but let's move on to the next step. So you're gonna wanna take out the six long screws that were in the package, and you're just gonna discard three of them. You don't need them, honestly, you don't. So just get rid of them, and let's focus on these three screws. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look, do you see here how I'm pointing at just these little tiny holes? There's three of them, okay? So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna take the longer screws and you're just gonna screw them into those teeny tiny holes. They do fit, you might have to wiggle it around a little, but just know that they do fit. Two minutes later. So we finished the first one. This part is probably takes the longest and the most is, is, and is the most tedious to do, but we have two other little holes here. So we're gonna take the two other long screws and we're gonna put one into this hole and then we're gonna take the other one and we're gonna screw it into this hole. So here we go. Five minutes later. So if you've done all the steps correctly, your wheel should be done. I hope this was helpful. I hope you were able to assemble your wheel. Um, thanks for watching, and this video is over.